some of the biggest threats to human health, survival, and um, a higher quality of life come from things that maybe growing up many of us have had the privilege not to think about. At D-Lab, we work with people around the world to develop collaborative approaches and practical solutions to global poverty challenges. And we engage MIT students and other people in the MIT community, along with a large number of partners around the world in order to do this. D-Lab exposes engineers and people with skills to these problems that otherwise we would be totally unaware of. The potential to contribute to real impact in real communities that to me is tremendously exciting. We're trying to use our minds to solve some of the biggest and most intractable problems, problems you've maybe never heard about before, problems that are affecting millions of people. I'd say the most important ingredient in a D-Lab project is relevance. We would like for the outcomes of that project to have a direct impact on the lives of people who are living in poverty. The classes that we teach here at D-Lab are aimed at teaching students about development, both the theory and the practice, but also equipping them with a toolkit so that when they go out into the field, they actually have skills that they can bring to bear. For us, D-Lab serves as this bridge between what happens here on campus and what happens in the world. My group is partnered with the All Branch for Children, which is an NGO in Tanzania. People that are sick, People with critical injuries, they do not have the money or the access to get to these medical centers, and so there are often very serious consequences. I worked on a motorcycle ambulance in the class D-Lab Design. Our ambulance will give people a way to get to these medical treatment centers and get the help that they need. Coming up with a solution is not the end. You have to be able to translate that solution into a viable business or a venture that can live on. We don't just think about what can we here at MIT do for other people, but rather what can we do together. Warringah Connect started with two MIT students who took the development class and traveled to Ghana. They discovered an opportunity to produce Moringa oil from Moringa seeds that were initially just going to waste. So they came back and started the project trying to design a technology that would help Moringa farmers extract oil from the Moringa seeds. Ultimately, there is the people who they serve also, the beneficiaries of their ventures, who are getting access to improved income, improved nutrition, and connections to international markets. D-Lab is interested in being part of MIT's imprint when it comes to affecting poverty and really thinking about how we can do that in the most effective way. What I would really love is for people to have the belief in themselves to change their situation, to be able to direct their lives in the way they want to see them to go. And they don't need to wait around for someone else to make a difference in their lives, but that they feel empowered to make a difference in their own lives. What this training is really about is all of the assets that people have, the knowledge that they bring, the expertise that they bring, their passion that they can bring, that all of these things are important ingredients for finding solutions. I love teaching design to MIT students and I love teaching design in the field. So I want my students to have carried water on their heads. I want them to use pit latrines. I want them to understand what it's like to spend two hours grinding grain in order to have food to eat. The fact that students every single semester talk about how this has been a transformative experience for them and talk about how they now think about the world differently and how they want to go out into the world to make an impact, it's unbeatable. Thinking about it in the context of MIT, where students are learning to use technology, many of them really want to understand why they should care about technology. What difference does it make? And these problems of people living in poverty make it very, very clear. What I'm hoping we do in the next 15 years is take what we've learned over the past 15 and find ways to spread it even wider. We're going to do these things together in the D-Lab way, which is always about bringing joy to the work, bringing hope to the work, believing that we can actually achieve things, and inspiring other students to believe that they can do things.